Welcome to an 8th wall create session. In this quick session, we'll learn how to 3D model a car and bring it into a web AR project. We'll start with the default cube and scale it out into a long rectangle. Make sure your rectangle's long sides are on the Y axis, aka the green axis. We'll apply a scale to our rectangle. We'll head into edit mode and add a loop cut to the rectangle with Control R. Click once to initiate the loop cut and then move your mouse and click again to place the loop cut. Do this on the front of the car where the hood would be and then again where the trunk of the car would be. On the top left of our viewport, we have vertex, edge, and face selection. Let's grab face selection and click on the center face of our car. Click E and move your mouse up to extrude that face and then S and move your mouse in to scale that a bit smaller. Now our car is starting to take shape. In edge selection, let's grab that top part of the roof and bring that back on the Y direction. Select our car and we'll place a loop cut via Control R in the center of our car. Doing this will help us place windows next. We'll grab the face selection tool and grab a face on our car. We'll click I and then type in 0.1 to indent the face 0.1 units. Let's do this to all the faces around the car. Let's grab our indented face and click E and negative 0.1 to extrude our windows in. Let's apply this to all the windows around the car. After this, we'll head into object mode to add a material to our car. With the car selected, we'll head over to the materials tab on the right and then create a ma new material. We'll add a base color to the material. I'll select purple. You can't see it at first, but if we go to the top right and click shading viewport, we'll see the color added onto our car. Let's add another material for the windows. Here I'll add a light blue color. Let's head back to edit mode to select the faces we'll use for a window material. I select a face and then click shift and select the other faces to select all the faces. Once I've done this, I can go to my window material and then click assign. We'll head back into object mode to create the first wheel to our car. Let's add a mesh cylinder. It'll appear within our car, but we can use the move gimbals to move it out of the way. Let's rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis. Once rotated, we can start scaling the wheel to our desired size. Let's position it accordingly. I clicked on the x-axis viewport to more easily position the wheel. Once I've positioned and scaled it correctly, let's go to object and then apply scale to the cylinder. Let's head into edit mode and grab the front face. We can click I to make an indent for the face, like we did for the windows. And then E to extrude that in. Now we're starting to get the shape of a wheel. Now we'll head into object mode to add a modifier and materials to our wheel. Let's head over to the modifier tab on the right. We'll add the bevel modifier. This will create a nice bevel to our wheel. Next, I'll add a material. I'll create one, and then I'll change it to a dark gray color. Once our wheel is looking good, I'll duplicate it around the car. I'll duplicate the wheels across the car, and then rotate them accordingly.
Once everything looks good, let's raise the car above the zero axis and center it within the scene. Next, we'll export the car as a GLB slash GLTF file type. Now we can head to the 8th wall project library and search for the joystick project. This project allows you to move a character or a 3D model in AR using a joystick. Let's clone the project. Once cloned, we'll drag and drop the car GLB model we exported from Blender. And then in our A assets, we'll change the source from robot.glb to the car.glb. Let's save and build. Then we can click the preview button and scan to see the experience. That's pretty cool.